APS North American Summer Camp, also known as NSC, is an annual event for BAPS youth to come together and deeply explore Hinduism and the Swaminarayan faith while having fun with their fellow youth. Many attendees are young adults who are approaching their transition into college. In preparation, NSC helps youth calibrate their identities as young Hindu men and women. The theme of NSC is Thread Breathing, meaning intense love. The curriculum is divided across four tracks, Shastras, Siddhant, Satpurush, and Sansta. Bhujya Swamis take a lead role in guiding delegates through each track, connecting the concepts through both presentations and group discussions. I hope to learn more about my Hindu identity, not only as a religion, but as a lifestyle. The drag speaking to me is about perfecting my bond with Swamishri, and the basis of that bond are my daily rituals, because it allows me to set aside time to reflect, to connect with Swamishri. We're surrounded by resources because there are fellow Shores individuals that you're surrounded by, they have amazing stories, not just in about their lives, but about their own personal satsang. Shastras are the fundamental scriptures of Hinduism. They are the source of spiritual and practical knowledge. We can see that Maharaj has helped us by condensing all of these Shastras and giving us the essence. He's given us the theoretical gnan and he gives us answers to practical questions that we have in life. Using the scriptures, we can develop uh, a faith, we can develop deeper understanding into the lives of our gurus, we can understand about our upasana. Reading and implementing the Shastras um, helps develop their pithi because I am able to learn more of the nature and character of Pramukh Sai Maharaj. After each presentation, the delegates form small groups to discuss their reactions and share questions related to session material. The classroom concepts are given real-life context so delegates can apply this new knowledge to their daily lives. Talking to my group gives me new perspectives on the Shastras and it allows me to draw inspiration from the Kishore's lives and how they've imbibed the Shastras into their own lives. The discussions that we had based on the Vacharmut was very crucial for these delegates for us to understand how to dive in to our scriptures and see the importance of how it's relatable to our own individual lives. The step-by-step -step process outlined in the Mananas allow me to take a Vajramrut that I think is difficult and break it down so that I can better understand it. It's time to start. It's time to start reading. It's time to start thinking about what you read, practicing it in your life and applying it eventually in such a way that becomes second nature. Throughout NSC, delegates perform their daily Hindu rituals, including Arti, Abhishek, meditation, and daily puja. The correct way to perform these rituals is practiced with fellow delegates, along with an understanding of their relevance in our daily lives. So my daily rituals help me stay connected to my traditions and values. When doing them, I feel like I can fully focus on building a deeper connection with my guru and have that one-on-one -on -one time with them. Through learning and understanding, delegates begin to see the value of rituals as it relates to their identities so that they can begin to look forward to performing these actions on a daily basis. All of us are embarking on a new, fresh start for college, but it's very important to determine what our true identity is before we go to college so that we make the right decisions, not based on emotions, but based on our true identity. If we don't see Swami Sri smiling, there's no point for us to smile because everyone else is happy. Make Swami Sri smile, make Swami Sri happy. Be proud of who you are, make Bapa happy and no one else because he is going to please you, make you happy in life and guide you in every step of the way. It doesn't matter what degree I get, but the choices that I make with that degree 
in the same way in the search for your identity. You only have to look as far as your values and then the choices you make based on those values. And so for my own identity, I've realized that all of the choices that I make are in alignment with my values, which are based on the four pillars of Thread Breathy. Expanding the classroom to the outdoors, NSC delegates took time to explore downtown Los Angeles. We actually met a resident at Santa Monica Pier who asked us why we were there. At that point, my group and I were able to clearly explain to her uh, who we are and how we represent Ramuksami Maharaj and BAPS. At NSC, delegates strengthened personal connections to our guru, Ramuksami Maharaj, aligning their thoughts and actions with his guidance to build an unbreakable bond. We get colored easily, we get affected, influenced very easily. And that's why I said we have to be aware of which company we keep, who we hang around with, who we associate with, who we follow, who we like. So I understand that by keeping Swamishi with me, even in the busiest of times, that connection that I have with him will get me through whatever situations that may come my way. A person's identity is a lifelong pursuit and delegates are assured they do not walk this journey alone. The sense that serves as a support system in their social, academic, and spiritual endeavors. You might not even have time, but make that time. That time is going to be worthwhile. Why? Because it's going to make a difference in your life. That's what this sansta is about. Having Mayma for the sansta, having Mayma for the mandir. Having Mayma for the sansta, which is going to help you. We want to make sure that we make use of this support system. We want to get rid of our doubts. Do we have doubts in BAPS? Do we have doubts in Baba? The only way you're going to get rid of it is if you go to Saba. This support system is also seen in practice through the BAPS Swaminar in Mandir, Chino Hills community who hosted the event. The tireless efforts of volunteers working together to make NSC possible served as a first-hand example of support and teamwork. And that's why the Puja Santos and the Karyakas and everybody else has got together to put this NSC camp together to help you understand that there are going to be obstacles, to give you the know-how, the back-end technology of how to jump over those hurdles, and then give you connections to stay connected and exercise that will to jump over these hurdles because they'll be there. All these hurdles will be there. The five-day journey neared its close with a trip along the beautiful California coastline where the delegates enjoyed the warm weather, scenery, and shared new insights with friends. So I understand that my fellow delegates, they're also going through the same things I'm going through as we're all entering college right now. And they're a group of people who I have right now that will, I'll be able to ask for help whenever uh, I need it, as they have me also. The camp slowly winds down to a close. Bonds of friendship and mentorship have been sealed, and the delegates have been given the tools they need to ascend in their spirituality. From, from these past couple days at NSC, I've actually learned that there's nothing to be afraid of. And that's because if we develop that Dhrad Prithi for Swami Shri, then it will be there to guide us along the way. And that's what Dhrad Prithi has become to me. That it's that if I truly believe in Swami Shri and I actually show that affection for him, then he'll be there for me every step of the road. That whenever, whenever I encounter a bad situation or I'm being forced to do something that I don't want to or whatever the situation may be, that if I reach out to Swami Shri and I give him my hand, then He'll guide me throughout that way, uh, throughout that road.